Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to restore Access Database using Stellar Repair for Access. Stellar Repair for Access is a powerful tool recommended by Microsoft MVPs and widely trusted by users and admins worldwide to repair MS Access Database and recover its objects in new database. It also helps you to restore all the objects including deleted records, password protected forms, and modules. It also supports the latest version of Access and the lowered version. To download this software, check the link in the video description. As soon as you click on the link, it will take you to this uh, web page. You will have to click on free download. As soon as you click on free download, uh, once the download is complete, you will have to click on open file. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. On the next window, you will have to uh, follow the ins installation wizard. Click on next, accept the end user's license agreement. Click on next again. You may also choose the des uh, installation uh, destination by browsing to the location or you may keep the installation uh, destination as is. So I'm going to keep as is, uh, click on yes, click on next again and it will prompt me to Create additional icons. If you want to create an uh, desktop icon on your desktop, you may check any of these options here. And I'm going to click next, click on install now. So as soon as the installation is complete, it will uh, give you a prompt stating that the complete um, installation has been completed. And as soon as the installation is completed, uh, you, it will take you back uh, to the Stellar Repair for Access window. Um, you would get a prompt uh, to select the database in case. You will have to click on browse to select the corrupt MDB or ACCDB file. In case if you're not sure uh, where the path is, you may click on search to locate the corrupt database if you don't know the file path. So you can go ahead and select the path. Uh, if you have multiple drives on your computer, you would be getting a prompt to select uh, the drives, the specified drives, and you can also check uh, find in subfolders. And you can also check the box which says scan for deleted records. So in my case, I know where uh, the uh, file is. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use this file which says PCR sale customer database. Now, if I try to open this file um, in Access, um, it would throw an error message saying that the file has been corrupted. So let's wait. wait. So this is how uh, the error message you would get. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to try to repair this particular file, which is there saved on my computer. So it is saved in under a desktop corrupt access file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to the location where the file is. Uh, so I'm going to go to the desktop and click on corrupt access files. And under this section, you would see a file which says uh, PCR. We are going to repair this file. Select the file and click on open and then click on repair. So what it will do is it will go ahead and repair, try to repair the uh, corrupt access file. And uh, once the repair is complete, it would give a message saying that repair of the selected database is completed. Now, the time depends on the data, what you have on the computer. Uh, if you have a lot of data on your file, it might take a longer time to complete the repair. So in my case, I didn't have much data. It was the file was about uh, one meg and that's the reason it took about uh, less than five seconds. So as soon as the repair is complete, you may click on OK to preview the data. What is there in the file? You can navigate on the table sections here. And uh, this is how you can go ahead and preview the data before saving the file. So once you preview the data, uh, you can go ahead and uh, choose and check if all the data has been restored or not. In my case, I see that all the data has been restored and um, it, it has got all the entries. So once the uh, preview is complete, you may go ahead and click on save database and you can save it on a specified location. So in my case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the new folder and I'm going to save it under the desktop and I'm going to save it under the same location and click on OK. Now let's go ahead and try to open the file. Now this is the repaired file, the one uh, which was repaired using the Stellar Repair for Access. Let's go ahead and try to open this file uh, using Access and see if that works. So looks like the repair has been completed successfully and all the data what was there on the file is intact. 
So this is how you can go ahead and repair um, the access database file using Stellar Repair for Access. Now you might have a question when to use Stellar Repair for Access. Now Stellar Repair for Access can be used when the compact and repair database utility has failed. Access database is an inconsistent state and if you're facing unrecognized uh, database error, just like the one which you're seeing on this. Now here are the key features of uh, Stellar Repair for Access. It repairs the database and recovers all objects. It also recover a table relationship and linked table data. It also recovers deleted tables, attachments and more. And it also helps you to recover deleted records from Access database. Here are some of the awesome features. It fixes all types of access database corruption. It also repairs password protected forms and modules. It also helps you to recover non-English language data. It helps you to preview the database object. Stellar Repair for Access uh, Technician version, uh, which allows you to uh, repair corrupted access database files on multiple systems in the same location. It also allows you to uh, selective recovery of database object. Now, the Stellar Repair for Access is, comes with a 30-day 30, 30 money-back guarantee. To check the pricing, you may click on Buy Now. Now, this is how the pricing would look. You have two different uh, licenses here, a professional and a technician. And um, the both are one-year license subscription. Um, the professional version can be installed and used on a single system and the technician version can be installed and used on a multiple system. It, it supports the latest version of Access to the earlier version. So you may go ahead and check the link in the video description and um, try to use this software. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.